Are you looking to cut rice away from your diet? Bulgur wheat is a great alternative. So this is bulgur. Like I told you, it looks so much like rice. This is the same grain that produces your semolina, your wheat flour, your pastas and um, couscous. All of it, it starts from the wheat grain. So this is a wheat grain. You can eat it in place of rice. Um, good for those who have diabetes, those who are looking at cutting out rice from their diet. Um, it's rich in fiber, so it helps your bowel movement. But God is just good. All you need to do is to rinse it out. You don't need to do any parboiling. Just rinse one or two times and you are fine. Okay, so it's ready. Bulgur wheat is ready. I'll start cooking now. Um, you don't need to soak it in water. Once you rinse, you start boiling. I'll bring out my pot. All right, so I'll add some water into my pot. Then the bulgur. You can see the wheat looks just like rice. You will not be missing rice at all when eating bulgur. All right, anyway, this is um, what my kids eat like um, almost every other day. They love bulgur, so I added um, to their school lunch. That's what they mostly eat. If you check their school lunch, you will find bulgur because they really, really love it. Really love it. So, adequate water. I'll just use some of this water to rinse the remaining bulgur off here. Here we go. So adequate water, this is just about two inches above the bulgur. I'll turn on the cooker. Now when it gets cooked, you taste it, you don't like the texture, if you feel it's too strong, you add some more water. Just the normal way you cook rice. So I'm going to salt this now. It's covered, so let's check out the bulgur. Okay, it's actually cooked. I'll just wait for that water to dry up. This is bulgur, not rice. If you look at it clearly, you can see that it's got this um, this line that kind of separates it like into two. So that line is there. Rice doesn't have that um, line. Okay, so that's one physical difference between rice and bulgur. In taste, they actually do not, um, they are not too different in taste. So this is done. This is done. So but I will just allow it cook completely and dry up. Before I turn it off, my bulgur is ready. So this looks good very done I'll just fluff this is good okay like I told you it's very good for your gut health because it's got lots of fiber good for those who are diabetic Bogo is great for you What do you think? Tastes really nice. Mm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice, very nice. I love the uh, assorted and stuff inside. Mm -hmm. Eating it with meat. It's <laughs> <laughs> in mine with Momo. Mm -hmm. mm. Fantastic. 
fantastic. <laughs> this is actually very good. Very, very nice. It's like you're actually eating Ofala sauce with Ofada rice. Yes, you won't even know. That's how Bogo feels. The texture of Bogo is like Ofada rice. Mm -hmm. Really. If you cook it well. Some people overcook their own, they start complaining that it's not nice. This is really, really nice, honestly. If you cook Bogo well, it tastes like Ofada rice. Ofada rice. rice. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do click on the subscribe button and notification bell to enjoy more of my recipes.